What in the hell is this absolute monstrosity? This is an Indian guar, which looks like a very muscular cow with perhaps some vitamin S in its system, if you know what I'm talking about. I mean, yikes, this thing is intimidating, isn't it? They may eat fruits and plants, but they look more than capable of putting a hoof up your butt if needed. Guars evidently are aggressive in general, but of course more so during mating season. Definitely something I wouldn't mess with. People think of hyenas as these cowardly animals, but they of course are very dangerous and have a stronger bite than a full-grown male lion. If nothing else, they are very interesting to listen to and observe and are very quirky animals. Mm. <laughs> I told you when you hear the hyena laughing, run away. <laughs> We just pulled in. Check out this wild grouse who is chilling in this guy's yard. Or depending on how you look at it, the man is chilling in the grouse's yard. Either way, the man is trying to give the grouse a peanut and the bird seems like it's not intimidated but it's understandably proceeding with caution. Later on in the video, the grouse appears to be kind of annoyed with the guy and even takes a couple of shots at him. Holy moly, ever seen an anaconda with any allies or friends? Neither have I. Check out this sloth as it slowly trots over and past this huge serpent. According to the video, they are actually friends, folks. Like, who would have ever thunk it? Like I was just waiting for this snake to devour this poor sloth and was shocked when it didn't happen. Uh, when have you in your life heard a cat sound like this? Whoa. Whoa. This is Jack. Whoa. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Voice is a little deeper than most cats. Hey, buddy. I had to watch this several times to figure out if it was real or not. But indeed it is. This is like the Barry White version of Cats. And it has a ridiculously deep voice. Like, if I ran into a cat like this and didn't know anything about it, and that sound came out of it, I would run to the hills because I'd be thinking it's possessed or something. This borderline evil looking is actually a bearded vulture. One of the most unique things about this species is that they are not bald headed like most other species of vultures are. This man here is experienced in owning birds of prey and this is actually his first day with the vulture. Like I know vultures only eat dead stuff and they're not going to really attack people, but still respectfully when it comes to owning one, I say hell to the knob. It is said that ravens are the smartest of all birds even more so than parrots. Here's a video of an incredible bond between a man and his raven 
that he rescued from a bad situation. One of the immediate things that stuck out to me is just how big ravens are, especially their heads. I mean, holy moly, they got some huge craniums, don't they? Maybe that's why they're so smart. <laughs> this particular one acts dang near like a puppy and shows love that I have never seen from a bird, and I love it. Check out this little back and forth between a huge Rottweiler and her son. Son is trying to give mama a little lip, but she ain't trying to hear all that. Hilarious. <laughs> Damn, he didn't expect that, did he? The bear's name is T-Shirt, which is a very interesting name to say the least. T-Shirt was trapped in a dumpster, and I guess the popo was called to get him out. The officer was on very high alert, and eventually the 500-pound hungry bear made it out the dumpster and went on about his merry way. Now, of course, the question would be, was this giraffe just hungry and the branch happened to be like right there? Or was the giraffe specifically trying to help this gazelle who had a branch stuck in its antlers? You be the judge. This is the infamous tiger shark, which is one of the most human aggressive of all shark species. They will take a bite out your ass whether you deserve it or not, like, they don't play. That's what makes this video of this scuba divers petting this beast even more insane. Can you imagine being this comfy with one of the ocean's top predators? Hell to the gnaw! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the best animal commentary out there. I am Curtis. Okay. See you next time. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No mean, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad at you. No, you're not.